It's Pete from Mixcat. Hope you're having a good weekend. I wanted to show you guys something I'm kind of excited about. I picked up some solar panels. Um, these are super, super light solar panels that I got off of eBay. Uh, let me kind of zoom up so you can see them. They're very delicate, and what we're going to do is actually chain these together to make a full solar panel. Um, these do need to be soldered together. You need solder, a little bit of flux, and what they call a tabbing wire or a bus wire. This is wire, flat wire that's covered with tin, which makes it real nice and easy to solder with. Um, for this project, you're definitely going to need a halfway decent soldering iron. You could do it with a cheapy Radio Shack so soldering iron, but uh, you'll have to have a little bit more patience with it. Really not too hard of a project. And just to kind of give you an idea, this box of um, little panels that I have here, the little cells rather, um, this was about, I want to say it was $65, um, and there's enough in there to make 120 watts worth of solar panels. So that's probably two panels. Um, so it works out pretty good. So if you have some patience and you're decent with soldering, this is a cheap way to go. What we're going to have to figure out is to make something on top of this to keep the weather out of it. Like uh, I'm thinking of glass with an aluminum uh, frame, but we'll work on that later. Let me show you how to solder what these What you're looking down on right now is a couple of the panels that I just soldered together. How these work, you have to chain them together. You go uh, from the back to the front back, front, back, front, as you can see there. And I'll try to put a little um, diagram so you can see a little bit better, but there you go, you can see how they link together. This is one that, it's the first time I've ever soldered a uh, panel. It worked out pretty easy, actually. Um, I'll zoom in and show you guys kind of the technique that I was using to do this. I hope you guys can see this pretty good. Um, I just have some normal uh, flux here. What I did was I cut a, um, there you go, a uh, Q-tip in half. The side without the the cotton makes it nice and easy to actually drag across. Um, there we go. We just got to go right across that line with a little bit of this flux, and this is what's going to help that solder flow nicely. They do sell flux pens. Uh, I did price them out. They, if you haven't soldered before, might not be a bad way to go. They're about five to ten dollars a piece. Um, I have plenty of flux here, so I figured let me use what I have and do this on a budget. The cheaper the better. All right. Now my soldering iron has a very fine tip on it. I'm just cleaning the tip. Hopefully you guys can see that good. Yeah, let me zoom in a little bit better here. I'm kind of a one-man show with the camera, so forgive the camera work. All right, what you're going to do here is just, we're, we want to put a little bit of solder all the way across. Um, the flux helps the solder spread. Let me kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Start off with a little bit of a dot. There you are. And you just pull that. A little bit of a dot and pull. Dot, pull. There you are. You see that nice little line there? That's what the um, the tabbing wire is going to adhere to. Let me show you. Put this down here. All right. I'm just going to kind of heat up the tip there a little bit. That way I can sit it down. And the trick to this is hold it kind of flat, and as soon as you get it to the flow point, you want to pull across. And I hope this uh, comes out good for you guys so you can see it. All right, as soon as you see it kind of liquefy, bring that tip right across. There it goes. And that's it. It's really that easy. We're on there. See that? And what we're going to do is this top one here. Let me. All right, again, we put a little bit of flux down. I'm going to start off with a little bit of a, a little bit of solder on the corner. I'm going to evenly just kind of pull this down. And you don't have to go too thick with this because 
the tabbing wire does have tin on it, so it'll it'll be fun. I I like to be as even as possible, but if it doesn't look perfect, don't fret and go back over it. Again, we just kind of hold that down and I heat them up so it sticks. I just pull it across and you'll actually see it liquefy as I pull it across. That's pretty much it. Not too hard, huh? There's the front. Looks like a pro job, huh? We'll flip it around and we're going to do exactly the same with the tabs on the back. Just a little bit of flux to start it off. You don't have to get crazy with the flux, just a little bit does it. Alright. And I just hold this at an angle, kind of flat, and just a dab. Again, at an angle and just a dab. Angle and dab. That's it. All right, so we got the the back and we got the front. Now we're gonna go ahead and do this a couple more times and tab them together. Okay, I'm gonna do this one with this piece down, and again it goes over and under. So I pull those tab wires up and I'm going to take this one right behind it. I'm going to solder that down. Uh, grab a little flux. And just to give you an idea, it's about 36 to 38 um, cells in a panel to give you about 80 watts. They're about I think three and a half watts each. Dab, dab, there you are. Dab, dab. Alright, All right, let me zoom it in so you can see a little bit better. Again, forgive the camera work. There we are. And don't get crazy with the lining these guys up. You will have a little bit of flex to it, so you can, uh, if it's a little bit off, you'll have a little, little play. There you go. I'm a little shy on that one, that's okay. More tabbing wire. All right. Really, not rocket science. If you can solder, you can do this. Let's see. It's really easy to solder to. Um, the the only thing is these panels are really, really thin, so you do have to be careful with them. I've seen a lot of videos where people broke them pretty easy. And I think they still do produce a little bit, even if they are broken. Um, I might go ahead and test that. There we go. Do this side now. And be careful with the solder. Of course, it's very hot. I solder pretty much every day, so my fingers are pretty immune to it at this point. 
but it is hot. You can see the sauna melting. Yeah, I got that cranked at uh, 450 degrees Celsius, so be careful. Don't want you burning yourself. All right. Soon. Should have probably used some cardboard. Would have been a little bit easier. Take much flux, just a little dab. All right. All right. Hopefully this one comes out good. I'll show you my. Uh, my soldering skills here. Start in a corner with a little dot and just feed her as you go. to liquid and you know she sat down nice and uh, you can always go back over it not a not a huge thing I don't know if you want to make it real pretty and go over it with just another touch of solder uh, which gives it a little thicker gauge wire with that solder on there so it can only uh, only help the situation, I'm thinking. Be able to pull a little more amps out of it, possibly. We'll see. Can't wait to try these guys out. But that's the gist of it. Hear the cell bowing from the heat. They're very delicate. I'm going to try putting these guys outside and see what kind of juice we get out of them. It's pretty neat how it's got contacts on the top and bottom. less complicated than I was thinking originally.
going to put this outside before I lose some light. It's about 7 o'clock. There's still some light out there. We should be able to test these guys and at least see them put something out. As you guys can see, it's about 7 o'clock. It's not real bright out. Um, I hooked up the lead on the bottom and on the top. And you can see I'm kind of standing in its light a little bit. It went down to um, 2.7. I walk away. It goes a little higher. Let me grab a light and see if that helps. Shot lights. Oh, yeah. See, it jumps right up. So, yeah, the panels are working. I mean, Real curious to see what we get in full daylight. But let me put them inside. As you can hear, it's a little windy and I don't want to break any of these guys. But there you go. There's the quick little test of them.